The bottom line is that it's effective and it does work. It does help reduce the strain on your body. Everybody that has a power sweeper knows that Welcome back guys. I've been following this company called Sweeper Wheels for a few years online. They sent me this uh, sweeper wheel kit. So what the heck is this and why do you need it? We're gonna answer those questions as well in this video. So stick around after the assembly. We're gonna go ahead and do a review of this and you're gonna see it in action. Let's get into it. The bottom line is that it's effective and it does work. It does help reduce the strain on your body. Everybody that has a power sweeper knows that they they are tough. They're physically demanding on your body, unless you're like a really young, super strong big dude. <laughs> Maybe they don't, but uh, they do for me. I'm a you know, middle-aged, out of shape guy that's only 5'10", so. <laughs> so yeah. But at the end of the day, this thing works really good and uh, it does. it did help my back quite a bit. I don't like using the power room or the paddle with, with my Milwaukee system just because it does really wear you out. Whereas like uh, the pole saw, the edger, the line trimmer, those things don't wear you out. They're not a big deal and they don't weigh very much. These are heavy. So gauge wheels are excellent. There are a few things I don't like about this kit. I did find out of the box, they recommended to use the middle hole for the wheels here. I, I, it didn't work for me. I put it up to the top wheel, which br brought the brush down more. So there is more, res I do feel more resistance than you probably would if you follow the directions. It does come with instructions. They're not that great. I would prefer if they'd have a paragraph, a photo, a paragraph and photo, and they'd still use about the same amount of paper. So you've got the diagram on the back and written instructions on the front. Really good directions have a little bit of both and would use the same amount of paper. So I would say that would make it a little easier. There were a few things that weren't super apparent as I was putting it together in the beginning. So I tightened everything up and you can see there's actually a bow right here. Um, it bows just a little bit there, but it doesn't really affect the tracking of the wheels or anything. Another thing I don't like is this mounting system. So this bolts on here. Now you can loosen all these up and you could slide this right off this particular product, no problem. But I think it would be better if if it had some kind of a quick clamp connection system so that I could take this off and use it on the paddle. I think a lot of people that have these products have both. Uh, so it'd be really handy to be able to use it on multiple products. So the majority of this, as you can see, is actually made of aluminum, not steel, which is good because this thing is heavy enough as it is. So I really like that this is aluminum. The wheels, of course, are steel and all the hardware is stainless steel, but that was a pretty good move. I also thought it'd be kind of cool if it were one piece. This whole thing fit in a box this size. The other versions that I've seen, this half and this half are one piece. Pretty cool that they figured out a way to reduce the size, to reduce the cost of shipping, which maybe gives them more, more profit per unit, or maybe they lowered the price on it. It does work really well, and I really appreciate Sweeper Wheels sending this to me. I think uh, it's pretty awesome. It'd be really cool if you could order in a custom color, like Milwaukee wet red or black. 
Just uh, saying. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.